been in a few car accidents, but I've never been in a luggage accident. The people here at Delta absolutely took care of me, but I don't know if Jason caught it on film, but my bag, my Watson airlock bag, Mr. Watson's been asking me, when am I going to see my bag on TV? Well, <laughs> today was the day he saw it on TV. He got caught in the conveyor, and uh, this gentleman here jumped into action, and we did everything we could. We had to cut the thing out of the conveyor belt. It was uh, pretty funny. Bass Pro's right up the road. <laughs> <laughs> well, traveling from Maine all the way to Dallas, Texas, the trip went as smooth as could be, especially for me who don't like to fly at all, except for a couple little mishaps with the, uh, the old Watson airlock bags. All we use is the Watson airlock, and uh, we finally make it to Texas. Welcome to Texas, y'all. I'm Bill Whitfield. How you doing, Bill? Nice to meet you. I figured you had a caller ID, Bill. I'm Bill. It didn't register on ID. That's the fault. <laughs> well, after we got to camp, we unpacked. We took a tour around of the camp. Everything was awesome. Then we headed over to the gun range to make sure all of our guns were sighted in. Now that all the guns are sighted in, we hop into the ground line with Mr. Mike Campbell. I like to call Mike Bart. So if you, he's got like this little haircut thing going on, spike it up with the visor, he looks like Bart Simpson. Here we are in Texas, whitetail hunting and odd head hunting, early October. The Hitman is brought to you by Hawk Sport Optics, Trophy Taker, Luminoc, Coventry Log Homes, Bow Shield, APA Archery, POF USA, FW1 Wash and Wax, Game Reaper Scope Mounts, Black River Plantation, Renegade Wheelchairs, and Quality Archery Designs. This portion of the Hitman brought to you by APA Archery. You want real speed? You want real innovation? Check out APA Archery at apaarchery.com. APA Archery, they are not the same. <laughs> in Texas, day number three, and Mike has an odd ad in front of him right at first light. We were in the blind the next next morning. Uh, actually, an odd ad came in first, which was a complete surprise. Basically, I had to wait for a uh, shooting light to get light enough, and uh, I was able to, to take her. About half hour, maybe 45 minutes later, the buck showed up. Deer, deer, deer. Just jump the fence.
take back everything I ever said about you Yankees not being able to shoot. <laughs> Congrats, man. Get out of that blind. You had a good morning. Two down, huh? Yeah. Congratulations, man. <laughs> Uh, so if y'all hadn't gone and looked for him, I told you to sit tight. You, you, you hadn't gone and looked for him yet. Been on pins and needles waiting for you. Okay, let's go get him, man. Thanks, God. <laughs> he takes a lot of management bucks off off the ranch. Uh, he keep improving the genetics and this is a perfect one to take off you know he's he's mature buck four maybe five years old um, and the four or five year olds on this ranch should have a little bit header, better headgear than this one so man it's a great buck to take man. awesome I'm glad you I'm glad you doubled but I'm glad you ended on this one <laughs> thank you thank you so much congratulations it's hard to believe it's a management buck uh, that's amazing he's a nice deer but uh I guess we better try to find that you, huh? Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. So let's leave him here. He's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. Yeah, he didn't go what? He didn't even go 50 yards, probably. Closed captioning for the Hitman brought to you by Burt Coyote Luminoc, the most popular lighted knock on the market and made in the USA. Visit them online at luminoc.com. So earlier this summer I heard about a trip that Blaine was going to be going on to Texas and I love Texas so when I had the opportunity to come with him I decided I'm all in, I'm going. Got out in that tree stand and boy wouldn't you know it within about 15 minutes this big old beautiful eight point comes walking out. I just didn't have a shot on him, and you know, it, it, he worked his way up close enough, but something spooked him and he ran off. And boy, I really felt just an empty feeling in my stomach when he ran off. I thought, I'm never going to see that deer again. I don't think I've never been in such a quiet hunting situation in my whole life. It's the second night of the hunt. We're back in here, we've shot our gun. Sure enough, that next night when we went back out, 20 minutes into sitting in the sand, he came back out under that same oak tree. Thought sure he's gonna just stay right there under that oak tree, but he ended up walking up through.
Hunting trophy elk is my passion. When it comes to my equipment, I hunt with the best. The best arrow rests and broadheads on the market. TrophyTaker.com the official knives of the Hitmen are from Outdoor Edge, the finest quality knives and tools for the big game hunter. Sure enough, that next night when we went back out, 20 minutes into sitting in the sand, he came back out under that same oak tree. I just shot a huge eight point Texas buck and I'm gonna go get him. I can't wait. Man, is he nice. He is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful eight point Texas buck. Man, that is nice looking deer. This is the one I tried to shoot last night, but just didn't, didn't work out. And all my gun problems and everything else tonight, the night worked out, obviously. He's gorgeous. <laughs> I love it. It's great. I'll be coming back for sure. Look at that, man. Wow. Huh? That's what I'm talking about yeah. right there. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. So after I shot my first buck, I had the opportunity to go shoot another buck. That second night had the opportunity, this big beautiful nine pointer walked in. He browsed around for a while, just like the first deer, man. He just kind of took his time and didn't come in, got me all nervous and shaky and jittery, but you know. Finally, he stepped out, and uh, as he was walking away, I let him have it. I had a really great time at that ranch. I, I didn't have the opportunity on an odd ad. It just wasn't working very well. It was kind of a weird situation because a lot of acorns had fallen or acorns, whatever you want to call them, had fallen and they kind of messed up the hunting situation because they could eat anywhere they wanted to. The grounds were just covered 
with acorns. Wherever you walk, there was acorns or acorns or whatever you want to call them, but down here they call them something different. All right, well, we had an awesome time here at Bill Whitfield Hunts. We are in, what is this considered, Central Texas? Central Texas? North Central Texas. And I'm just cracking up because that's the first thing I've heard him say all week. <laughs> um, but we had the best time. Jeff from Coventry Log Homes. We had Teddy here, Mike here, the guides, the just everything. Couldn't have been better for my first Texas experience. So like we always do, and like you've seen on 6,872 other TV shows, we got to present the Outdoor Edge. And he actually doesn't have one. Usually we get here and the guy's using one. Ty, he's over there behind the camera. He, uh, he's already got one, so he gets nothing. Nothing. So, but we got the flip and zip, sir. And uh, it's got the Hitman logo on it. That's the best part of it. Except for the flip and zip part, which is right here. Um, this obviously you can skin, do anything. And this is the zip. And that is it, sir. And again, I know from uh, me driving me around and dropping me off a couple times, and certainly Mr. Jeff. <laughs> That's for you, sir. Appreciate it. We appreciate it. Thanks, sir. sir. Now we're in the south, guys, so the web address isn't actually there. So don't look for it when I do this. Oh, man, I just got all kinds of bad emails for that one. <laughs> <laughs> you saw the South Carolina show, the guide looked for the web address, but the web address is right here. So give Bill, Bill Whitfield the call, come visit these guys in all seriousness. It's like, it's like coming home. It's like coming to hunt with a bunch of buddies. I mean, seriously, that's exactly what it's like. There's no tension the second you get here. You relax. The food was the, was the best. David's in there cooking this cream corn. I could go on for hours. You want to talk about the, the corn, Jason? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does want to talk about the corn. He don't ever want to talk. So, anything you want to say, Jeff? Put you on the spot? No, I had a great time. This has been a great trip. Like been to come back next year. Yeah, it's on. So hopefully this will be our Texas trip every single year. Coming out here to visit these boys, so. The Hitman is brought to you by Scorpid Crossbows, Crossroads Chevrolet, CSI, RTD Turkey Calls, Blackheart International, and these other fine sponsors. Be right here to watch The Hitmen every week. Visit our Facebook page for giveaways and the latest information on the entire Hitmen team at facebook.com forward slash Hitmen TV. If you are interested in being part of The Hitmen next year, shoot us an email at info at hitmentv.com. Remember, they can run, but they only die tired.